Pacquiao and Joshua Clowney. One year age advantage for Pacquiao. One and a half inch height advantage and a one inch arm length advantage measured from the armpit to the end of the fist for the true welterweight in the fight, Joshua Clowney. Clowney weighed in right at 147 pounds. And little hugs for his trainer, Freddie Roach, his physical conditioner, Alex Ariza. The bell rings for round one. Will the magical life of Manny Pacquiao over the course of the past couple of years continue? The difference in hand speed will be immediately apparent. Pacquiao's left hand was blocked by Clotty's gloves. Clotty is not throwing. He's really only thrown a few punches so far. Pacquiao is seeing most of his stuff blocked, but gets a little left hand in there. But, but, yeah, but you know, Clotty right now is fighting his fight, and it's, and it's what he should do. He can never try to match Manny with punch for punch. That's not him. But I think the way he's fighting, trying to just get close and eventually start shooting a little pecky right hand lead through the center is what he's got to do. Clotty went into his deep defensive guard at that time, both hands up, gloves in front of his face. Pacquiao banged away against his arms as they went to the ropes. I, I think these first few minutes have enormous significance. Clotty came out looking like he wants to see what this force of nature is all about. And I think Pacquiao has to impress him here to keep him on the defensive. So far, Claudio doesn't look overly impressed. Nope, he's given a lot of problems to Manny at this stage right now. Manny cannot trigger him out because so far he's not been able to land a punch. But he should have expected that. You know, the, the talk of him going out and knocking out Claudio, this was always ridiculous. I think it's going to be a long fight. Well, Claudio's so much bigger and stronger. Yeah, but you know, but and plus he's skilled and talented, particularly as a defender. I think so how could it be an easy fight? It can't. You're right. And the and best thing that Manny can do is try to catch Claudio when he punches. That's when he's most vulnerable. Not right now. But already you see the problem for Claudio in terms of the punch output equation. How can he win rounds when he's throwing about one punch for every three or four that Pacquiao releases, or so it appears? Body shot by Pacquiao. Claudio's short with the jab. It seems unlikely that Claudio can win rounds short of hurting Pacquiao, but he has shown in this first round that he can catch Pacquiao clean. And just did there with a jab. It's just what I said, he had to come back with a little tail end punches. Right Hard right hand by Claudio. Because his right hand and his left hand is so high at the same level of Manny's head, which means it's very easy for him to shoot short, direct punches. Pacquiao has landed two punches on Claudio's belt line, and referee Richard Ramos, or Rafael Ramos, has let them both go. Counted by CompuBox. Mm -hmm. Manny threw 79 punches in the round. It was not a good round for him. He only landed 11. But Claudio only threw 35 punches. So how do you win a round when the other man has thrown twice as many punches and is the more dynamic fighter anyway? Well, as the fight goes on, if Manny gets a little frustrated and loses his spirit because of the fact that he can't land the shot, you'll probably see Claudio start to land in little short punches just like he tried to do right there. Just as Manny backs away and he's relaxing, those little shots come out it's such a short distance where he can't see them. The question is, can Claudia at any point hurt Pacquiao with one of these straight shots he's shooting up the middle? He may not, but as going down the stretch, I think fight's going to be very, very tight fight, I think. And right now, the fight is going more to Claudia's planning, I think, than, than Manny, because they thought Manny thought he would be able to penetrate a little bit by now, but so far, he's not found the solution. So, will Pacquiao be patient? Can he take several rounds and try to construct a way of picking Claudia apart? Or will he get frustrated and impatient? Well, I tell you what, he's throwing shots that he still hasn't been able to do too much. And the main thing, I think he start, should start preparing himself to try to win a decision, as I said earlier. Well, he's preparing to win a decision because, unless I'm totally out to lunch here, and barring a big change, he'll exit this round up two rounds to nothing on the scorecards.
That punch was well below the belt line. It didn't do any real damage. Oh, There's another one right on the belt. Rafael is letting both fighters throw at the belt line. There's a combination for Pacquiao. And he manages to rip a left through the guard. Cloudy pretends to wobble. Usually a sign that a fighter's actually hurt. It doesn't look like Cloudy was hurt there. No, Cloudy's not hurt. I think really he's getting very comfortable in this fight right now. Cloudy tried the first couple of uppercuts a moment ago. That's what he hopes will be a big weapon. But when he throws the uppercut with the left, Pacquiao will counter with that brilliant right hook of his. That's been a very damaging punch. There's a good left for Cloudy straight onto the face of Pacquiao. Cloudy is landing effective punches. Manny's throwing them, but the really effective, those were short point to point punches are more effective from Cloudy than from Manny at this stage. And yet Cloudy's losing this round by a wide margin. Agreed. Is. Here you see Cloudy blocking some shots and then I think he's going to do his little jig to imitating as if he was hurt. But I think it's part of him becoming getting more relaxed with the situation now. It doesn't matter to me if he's landing clean shots. You he let can't Pac turn around you, that you, way. you let Pacquiao really start to move his hands. He'll relax you all the way. That's right. He'll put you to sleep. I agree watch with you, Emmanuel, that Cloudy feels hand. comfortable with what he's yeah, doing. Yeah, but man is winning the fight. He's doing what he's saying. He's got to remember to keep just doing what he's doing, just out-punching this guy. Don't go for a knockout. Yeah, what Cloudy has not been able to do is to stop Pacquiao from throwing so many punches. And he thought maybe he could. No, he can't stop him from doing that. Man is going to throw punches. But I, I don't get a certain point. You start getting a little frustrated still when you're throwing punches and really for clean punches yourself. You're not landing anything. To me, still, the effective punches are from Cloudy. He may be being out of work, but he's landing the effective punches. Well, I I've seen a lot of effective punches from Pacquiao, in fact, more than from Cloudy, although not as a percentage of the punches that Pacquiao's throwing. Cloudy's making every punch count, but he, as Jim, you say, he needs to throw I more I see often. different. I see Cloudy landing the stream straight punches, the clean punches. Perhaps, Emmanuel, but he threw 27 and landed five in the last round. And, and but Manny threw 96. I said Manny's winning yeah, the fight, okay. but I'm All saying right. the clean effect of punches are still to me coming the from clean, Cloudy. The cleaner they're not enough of them. Yeah, it's not the, enough. And they're cleaner punches, but even when Cloudy's blocking some of these Pacquiao shots, they're partially blocked. They're also partially landing. And Manny, interestingly, has shown more focus to the body in the first couple rounds than I think I've seen from him in quite a while. Looks like Pacquiao's also felt, felt Cloudy's power more in this third round. Definitely. His, his head was snapped up by a, an uppercut. But nothing stops him from pouring the punches on. A minute left in the round. He's already thrown 61 punches in the round. Hard right hand by Cloudy. Best punch of the fight. And that's going to have to be what Cloudy does if he hopes to win. Well, see, Manning got to be careful he don't get frustrated after a while of just punching and not hitting nothing but arms. He's got to realize just he got to work this guy and try to win this decision. And not get frustrated. One of these crisp counters of Claudie's you pointed out, Emmanuel, has to land hard enough to hurt Pacquiao, I think. At some point in the fight, it doesn't have to be right now, but at some point he has to throw it with real conviction. I agree. Joshua Cloudy. Here you see, which is maybe typical of, of Cloudy's effective punches, the little simple, little straight little shots that he's landing. But the problem is he's not throwing enough of them. But his punches are very... On three. Landed punches, no huge difference. Pacquiao 44. He's got a margin over Cloudy, who's landed 26. The difference is Pacquiao has thrown 281 
and Claudi has only thrown 100 in the first three rounds. So Manny is averaging 93 punches per round in the first three rounds, and Claudi is averaging 33. Harold, how do you have it? <laughs> okay, Jim, three to nothing, 30 to 27, Manny Pacquiao. You know, Jim, he's so smart, it's amazing. You know, you come out and you see a guy covered up like Winky Wright, hands held high, elbows in tight. What do you do? You step around. Manny Pacquiao keeps stepping around the guy and whacking him in the ribs and piling up points. Forget the fact that he's breaking him down to the body. I mean, he's, you know, just keeps banging him in the ribs, banging him in his watch. You'll see, he'll step right there. See, he steps around and he usually follows it with a, there he goes, stepping around again bang into the body Harold, do you, and Manny. you agree this is the most body punching we've seen Pacquiao do oh yeah I mean beautiful body punching no question this guy's covered up you can't hit him in the jaw you bang him in the body you know that said and Harold you're right but we've seen already in three rounds three and a half rounds Manny Pacquiao hit cleanly to the head more than we've seen him hit cleanly to the head in the Diaz De La Hoya Hatton and Cotto fights combined I think and Cotto had some success early. Yes, he did. Most people gave Cotto a couple of rounds. The first and the fifth. No, 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 no. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. I'm not sure what Raphael was stopping them for for a second there. Pacquiao looked like through a through a right and left hand at the same time, like clapped Cotty, Cotty. <laughs> Harold, what was Raphael dealing with Jim, there? Jim, you can't hit the guy with two hands. Ah. Manny Pacquiao threw two hands at once. Raphael, oh, Raphael here we go. Claudie backed into a corner and for a moment was inert as Manny banged away. I'm not sure what's happening to Joshua Claudie and why he's not throwing Emmanuel. There he goes. Went a long time without releasing his hands there. Yeah, that's a Manny's scoring those points to in the meantime. Well, I think Manny's breaking his guard down. It looks to me as though he's starting to land more. Claudie's still tight, muscular, so controlled. He's like a welterweight tank in there, the way he's built. Both guys are fighting the, the fight that they plan to a great degree. It's what's going to be interesting to see who wins out in the end. Because Pacquiao said he's going to be punching, moving in and out, side to side, giving him angles. Claudie said he's going to cut cover up and try to break his wheel by just letting him punch himself out. So it's going to be interesting to see how this fight finishes up. Those are two hard body shots for Claudi. Well, Pacquiao has hurt and knocked fighters out in recent years by hitting them with punches they didn't see coming from awkward angles. And Claudi, because he's paying so much attention to his defense, is not getting hit with those punches. Claudi scored with a good left hand. Here we see the, I guess the referee called in fresh rule when he exactly like clapped his head between both heads. Something I've never saw did before. <laughs> And, and and you see him in the corner where Manny just pummeling him right here with some great shots in there. Nothing that landed that clean, but it was. He threw 116 and and moved his landed punches number up to 24. Clotty was 10 out of only 21 punches thrown. Well, that's what Manny's going to have to do to win this fight because he's going to have to go for a decision. And, you know, going down the stretch, he's got to be ready to hold up just in case this man starts putting a little bit more punches together in addition to just walking in. Well, right here you see Clotty applying a little more pressure early in this round. Though he's still not moving his hands. mentioned several times in building up to the fight that Claudi is fighting for the first time with trainer Lenny De Jesus and De Jesus has spent most of his career as a cut man not as a trainer in fact he was Manny Pacquiao's cut man in Pacquiao's last loss against Eric Morales in 2005 Claudi wanted a trainer who worked with him earlier in his career in Ghana Godwin Cote to come here and handle him for this fight but the United States uh, immigration department did not allow a visa for Cote. 
and uh, that left Claudio having to fight in what account, in, in what amount to makeshift circumstances for him. He's such a veteran, and he's so deeply ingrained in his own style that it's hard to imagine it would affect him all that much. But of course, you always want to have the training camp with the trainer you prefer. Yeah, but I, I, I was not too impressed with his training before, so I think Lenny B. Hayes will do very well. But I mean, psychologically, it would be a problem for him. But I was understanding that he was going back and forth between the trainers recently anyway, even before this guy. Well, was he didn't want the trainer who trained him in New York for the Cotto fight. He wanted Godwin Cote, who had worked with him earlier in his career. That's who he couldn't get. And now he winds up with DeJesus as sort of a, a last resort. Pacquiao, of course, bring it up, bring it up, bring it his relationship with Freddie Roach is probably the strongest relationship of any fighter and trainer in this world. Now, this is when Manny has a good chance to try to hurt Potter when he starts punching, and that's when he leaves himself open a little bit. See that? When he punches, he pulls his head up. And that's when Manny has to try to catch him, when he's punching himself. And when Plotty just guards like this and doesn't let his hands go, he's giving the fight away. Yeah, he if, has no chance. If he punches himself, he may get caught, so that's his safety factor. Come on, kiss ahead. Let's he take a look at a punch zone graphic, which Let's will show punches. you okay. where Manny Pacquiao is landing his punches through five rounds. And look at the body shots. 41 out of his 84 landed punches are body shots, relatively equally distributed, 24 of them with the left hand, 17 with the right hand. That's been the heart of the Pacquiao attack tonight. Average per round through five rounds, Pacquiao 16 out of 99, Plotty 9 out of 30. Pacquiao has won five consecutive rounds to start the fight. And though Pacquiao is not hurting Claudie, he is reducing Claudie to what he reduces all fighters to that he's fought recently. He's overwhelming Claudie. This is not as though Claudie's not fighting as he normally does. This is how he fights. He likes to block punches before he counters. And Pacquiao's offense is so overwhelming, Pacquiao never stops punching and Claudie never stops blocking. In the last 30 years, there have been three star fighters from Ghana. The very great Azuma Nelson fought to win in every fight. No flies on him. And both are Ike Quarte and Joshua Clotty have been spectacularly talented in the ring. But going down the stretch in those close fights, Quarte never did stretch out. He was he going to save his own. That's why he lost his big fights. And at this stage right here, this fighter here is look like he's the same type. He's come from the same mode. He's got the talent, but he seems to be still a little too reserved and but, worried but of getting tired. Not worried willing of to lay himself hit. on not the line to try to win the fight. Right. But but this is how Claudie fights, and normally it's enough to win. In uh, you know, except when he stepped up against the That's best right. Guy. But he knew he was fighting Manny Pacquiao. When he steps up in class, he loses. And what fights. we all knew is that he would have to be someone he's not to win. We're asking a lot of him. Right. He's he, being he's, who he is. He's, he's, and, and I think it's really a testament to Pacquiao so far. Well, you know, if, if this is the verdict and we're going to watch 12 rounds of this, then Pacquiao's too good. Throws too much, moves too much, commands the ring too much. He's been in charge of the ring. And yet, and yet, Claudi is landing. Yep. Lands both, of the, lands both of those right hands. Lands that combination. But now here comes Manny. This is a very active round by Claudi's standards, and, and Pacquiao still outthrowing him. I think he would do more if he would throw more punches to me to Claudi, but you know, it's somewhere along the line. I know Manny is a machine, but you know, I, I don't know if he's going to get tired physically or mentally. But too. Emmanuel, as you mentioned, Claudi doesn't open up because that's when Manny Pacquiao catches opponents in combinations, in exchanges. Well, the best way to stay on your feet is not to open up against Pacquiao. It's another onslaught by Pacquiao to cement the round. His four-hour workouts are becoming legendary in the sport, so if he gets tired, that's an event. And once again, in the round, Pacquiao is going to throw close to 100 halfway point of the fight. Round seven begins. 
Harold, how do you have it through six? Okay, Jim, six to nothing, obviously. 60 to 54, Manny Pacquiao. I got to tell you something, Jim. People may hate me for saying this, but you know what? This guy's fighting scared. I, I mean, he doesn't want to open up. Lenny DeJesus is begging him, open up, open up, punch, punch. He, he won't do it. And he know, won't he do it. Up Wait there, a minute, Max. Everybody said he was the bigger guy, the stronger guy. He opens up once in a while, but just like Jim says, not nearly enough to win a round. He's already given up six rounds, and every time Manny Pacquiao steps around and, and attacks him, he covers up i mean the guy is fighting a scared fight and that's all there is to it manny pacquiao winning all these rounds with clean effective punching six to nothing pacquiao i mean the reality of pacquiao is yeah first of all claudio opened up a little bit there he had momentary success but if you open up against pacquiao when it is unwise to do so you go to sleep and so to fight a scared fight i mean he's he's clear you know claudio's not known for a high out punch output in the first place um, and now he's facing a guy who can punch and who's throwing a hundred punches around and stepping around him and boxing him beautifully you move your hands at your own peril a big thing is that Claudi just isn't trying to counter Pacquiao he's not taking advantage of Pacquiao's aggression in any way that's what he would have to do it seems no, to me he, to win he, the fight he don't want to take a risk well that you can't win unless you're going to take a risk against I mean you're already down six rounds against the best fighter in the world give yourself a shot that's what Lenny DeJesus is trying to say well champions are made on the inside I've always said that it's made from the way they think and the heart it's not so much all the time the skills and that's why Manny is the champion and he is a challenger everything he doesn't want to take the risk he doesn't think like a champion when Marte fight, was right there with Delaware for 12 rounds yeah. Oscar took risks in the 12th round and knocked him down but and everything you're saying guys is right but I see a well I see a mouse on Randy Pacquiao's right eye I've seen him hit here in this fight more than he's been hit against as I mentioned De La Hoya Cotto um, Diaz Hatton I mean he's beaten the hell out of everybody recently glad he's not the only one in fact he's doing a little better than those other guys yep Good quick cook by Pacquiao as Claudio was trying to come in. Pacquiao's defense and ring generalship have been good too. Yeah, I was going to say, I've been watching history. Pitches Stayed off the ropes. Yep. Very good defense. At a Manny Pacquiao like percentage, but he's still throwing a Manny Pacquiao like number of punches. Claudio was 7 of 39. What's significant about the 39 punches? Well, those are the most punches that Claudi has thrown in any round in this fight. But the welterweight average is about 56. So he hasn't been even within range of an average welterweight's offensive output at any time in the fight. Pacquiao, on the other hand, is averaging nearly 100 pun punches thrown per round against a guy who's bigger and stronger. Manny Pacquiao is amazing. It's as simple as that. I guess that's that's my point, Jim, is I see this as a brilliant Pacquiao more than a scared Claudi. Remember, of course, that regardless of the outcome of tonight's fight, Pacquiao begins a political campaign for a position in the National Legislature of the Philippines on March 26th. And if he's elected, he enters the legislature as a representative in July. And who knows what that would do to his boxing career, or even to his popularity on, as a up, Filipino up, icon. Okay? They don't love politicians okay? the same way they do uh, athletes. Time out, time out. You okay? Okay. Timey, let's go. Accidental headbutt. Oh, low blow. Also, Claudi, while being physically strong and having talent, is not exactly an A-plus talent fighter. 
He's not the fastest guy in the world. He's not the biggest puncher. More like an A-minus talent fighter. Yes. And at the end of the day, okay? Let's go. maybe you never okay? enough offensive Let's game go. to really go to the top. There you go. Four punch, five punch, six punch combination. Body shot, body shot. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Try and stop it. Bang, bang. Here I come. Bang. Do you want to throw sometime? Bang. This is the Manny Pacquiao who has dominated boxing for the past three years. Bang. Bang, 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 bang. And when Pacquiao. Do you want to throw back? Bang. Keep coming. When Pacquiao starts doing this, now I tend to agree, Plotty has to do something to keep no, him off. No, 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 he is a Back off, back off, back off. In eight go. rounds, Manny Pacquiao's thrown 785 punches. He threw 104 of them in the last round. Or was it 118? Well, at any rate, it was a huge number. Bang, 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 as I pointed out. And Claudi did not have an answer in the corner when Lenny DeJesus said, you're losing every damned round. Well, he's used to that. I guess when he just doesn't want to stretch out and take any risk at all. He's trying to win safety, but it's not going to happen. He realizes that this guy's out punching him. And when he does punch, he doesn't land that clearly on Manny anymore. He needs to step it up, but he's not willing to take that risk. First half of the fight, I would say that Claudi wasn't out of his mind to play some defense and try to pick his shots when he could. Right. Hard shots. But now we're into the point of the fight. Now going into, we're in the ninth round. He's lost every round. He's starting to get tagged more cleanly and more frequently. Now is the time in the fight where I wholeheartedly agree, Claudi must really take chances because the win is already out of reach if he doesn't. It's going to have to be a knockout for him to win. I'm sorry, whether he was intimidated by Pacquiao's reputation or intimidated by what Pacquiao did in the ring or whether he didn't mentally prepare in such a way to be ready to take the risks, he hasn't given himself any chance in the fight. Well, this is him fighting his regular fight to me. Yeah, er yeah early on. His regular fight. There you go. Best attack of the night but, by, by Joshua Clotty. But Manny's doing the, the, the Clotty on him. He's, yep, blocking, he's, he's covering blocking, up. blocking those shots. Yep. And hoping he can keep him punching like that and maybe he can catch him. Manny's defense has improved during the fight. Yes, it is. And he's still able to release his hands freely inside and out. Like that. And that. What an amazing combination puncher this man is. What Phenomenal. a fabulous offensive fighting machine. Yes, as a crowd has never been in this type of a challenge. And to me, I see him just falling apart mentally. Early on, he seemed to be trying to take Pacquiao's measure. Look at this. I can hit him cleanly. Maybe I can set him up. And at some point along the way, Pacquiao, it seems, had convinced him he can't win the fight. You know, I just caught Joshua Clotty's eyes. He came into the ring and he gave me a look of discouragement. Yep. You know, when you're fighting for a championship of the world with everything on the line, millions of dollars, and, 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 and you're not even throwing punches, I mean, there's no excuse for that. You know, you sort of let everything hang out. Even if you get knocked out, at least go out fighting. Tough fight to score, Harold. 
the only thing tough about this fight is you wonder if you should give Manny Pacquiao a 10 8 round. He's, he's winning these rounds so big. That's the only tough part, Jim. 9 to nothing, 90 to 81. Manny Pacquiao based on all those clean punches. I mean, and like you said, ring generalship and good Manny Pacquiao defense. See that? He flanked those shots. I mean, he's just winning these rounds convincingly. So, you know, you sit and wonder, should you give him the extra point? Should you give him the extra point? But Joshua Clyde, he throws just enough to avoid the 10 8 round. 9 nothing Pacquiao. And as Manny Pacquiao continues to bang away against Joshua Clotty's guard, occasionally getting a punch around the guard or through it, and Clotty throws one punch at a time, as he's done all night long, our Max Kellerman winds up in the Pacquiao corner with training Leonard DeH Lenny DeJesus. Max, take it away. Lenny DeJesus. Early on, Clotty seemed to be countering at times effectively, never moving his hands enough. At this point, he obviously needs something dramatic to win. What's going on? I'm telling you, he went back to his old style. Uh, he's trying to push him to throw more punches because if he throw punches, he create openings, but he's not doing that. I think he's being too cautious. In the game, he has to take a chance, but he's not. Why do you think that is? I think he's feeling uh, Manny power, uh, power, Manny Pacquiao's power. And he doesn't want to take the chance. Simple as that. Thanks, Lenny. Fascinating. Two years ago, Pacquiao was fighting at 135. Now Lenny believes that Clotty is scared of his power. I think exactly the same way. I think he felt that power, but he managed, and then he's, he's, and he, and he's taking so he don't want to take a risk. And that's just why Manny is a champion. Manny will gamble. You know, when you're fighting for the championship, you don't try to win the title from a champion. You take it from him. You come in with that attitude, I'm going to take it. This is mine. Give it to me. Well, and he's I, not fighting that way. He's just trying to just survive. You know, don't get hurt. You know, do that later on. But you're fighting for the championship of the world, man. Let it all go. Yeah, here's another point, and you just made this point about Pacquiao, really. You cannot be a great offensive fighter without taking risks. Manny Pacquiao is never afraid to take risks. Right. And that's why he's a champ. You know, and to me, such a drastic change after being with a fighter like Tommy Hearns. When you tell him sometimes to play it safe, he says, no, I've got to go out and fight. I mean, it's... It's really oh, no, no, frustrating. No, 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 no. Like that. Going up, and he has already, with two rounds to go, thrown more punches in this fight than in any fight he has ever appeared in before. Because he's had to, and he did it. Whatever he had to do, he did it. He saw he wasn't going to land the clean punches or the knockout. He said, let me just start putting these, you know, they're like putting money in the bank, start building up, building up. And that's what I thought he should do, and he's doing a great job. No, 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 and I'll tell you what, Emmanuel. Let's go. I never really said this before. Of all of Pacquiao's fabulous assets, I'm beginning to think that his greatest is his heart. Well, he thinks and fights like a champion. And that's what makes him a champion. He's made on the inside. And it's especially good when on the outside you're as fast as anyone, a very hard puncher, and have endless stamina. Thirteen, two, twelve, two, ten. Time running down. Lenny De Jesus asked Clotty to take a chance. Hasn't happened so far. But you see, who are we expecting to show up tonight? Clotty seemed to be winning the Cotto fight late and eased off the accelerator and wound up losing a fight he could have won against an inactive opponent. Very Quarte-like. But I think also he felt the power of Manny Pacquiao too, and I think it increases. Uh, tendency to the whole bag and you see and when his he, hesitation when he came out early in this round after the Jesus exhorted oh, him on, let's go, let's go, he tried to kind of take a chance in his way early in the round and then got discouraged and went back to who he is See what man is doing. What he gets hit by something back, punching. and he comes right back. If you hit me, I'm going to come back with five more the, punches. That's, that's what the a champion does. Right. right. And Claudia, it doesn't have that in him. That's the difference. Oh, what a display. What an amazing display by Pacquiao. Claudia's having maybe his best round, and Pacquiao is rising it's to the occasion. take it right back from him. He's not going to let him have it. Straight left. 
left hand uppercuts. Pacquiao comes back with the right hook, as you knew he, knew he would. See that? Good one, too, by Pacquiao. Savage is clotting with the left hand. But man is going to take this part of this round right back. He's Absolutely right. Hand. That's it. He'll let Clotty have a couple of punches here and there, but then he rallies. He might give him a sympathy round. Well, this is going to be a very I don't see which round. one. I don't see which sympathy round you could give to Clotty. I agree. Shut out. Let's see who closes the show. Claude, he's never been knocked out. Manny landed 36 punches in the in the 11th round, his high number for the fight. Maybe he has softened Claudi up. And you're right, though. This is more impressive because here's a fight where he's fighting a guy who doesn't punch much. I mean, he's got to throw almost double what he normally would have to throw in a, with an opponent who would be punching back. But we know what Claudi is. He's not an elite champion, pound Hard for pound kind of fighter. But we also know he's an come on, come on, come on, let's go. They bump heads again. You okay? You okay? Let's go. Come on, clean, clean. Last round, let's go. Incidentally, both sportsmen like, and they like each other. You know, Claudio wasn't able to generate any animosity toward Pacquiao if it would have helped him. It wouldn't have made any difference. We, we do know that Claudio is a top welterweight, no excuses in his prime, and we've seen what he's done against other top welterweights, barely lost, and he can't win a round against Pacquiao. It is not that he's been getting hit that much. He can't run around because he's not willing to throw punches. And that, that's the thing. And Manny doesn't hit him with that many clean punches, but he's just outworking him. He's doing just what he has to do. Somewhere tonight, both Shane Mosley and Floyd Mayweather are likely watching this. Scouting report, so to speak. Surely, the winner of Mosley Mayweather on May 1 is going to be looking forward to the possibility of getting together with Pacquiao. What are they seeing? What are they looking at as they watch this? Surely in Mayweather's mind, he's looking at someone whom he can bottle up and defend the way he has done to virtually every other opponent in his career. Well, in Mosley's mind, he's probably thinking, I'll trade with him. Let's see if he's as hard a puncher as I am. Well, that is the fight, even though it doesn't have a marquee value. That is the fight that would be the best fight that could be made would be Shane Mosley to me and this man here. Two offensive two, fighters. Two offensive man guys who always come right back with flurries whenever they get hit. I mean, that, in, in yeah. terms of the, what would occur in the ring, absolutely right. You can't make a better spectacle no. in terms of the action in the ring than, and the level at which it would be contested than Mosley and Pacquiao. Manny's grinning again with a minute to go. In terms of the event and what the world wants to see, there's nothing that comes close to Pacquiao and Mayweather. Regardless of what much excitement is generated during the fight itself, that fight is a fight that the public wants and has made themselves. My dream fight with all of it, Manny Pacquiao and a prime Aaron Pryor. The rest of the world's dream fight is Pacquiao and Mayweather, and their dream can come true if Mayweather takes care of business against Mosley. Down the stretch they come. It looks as though Manny Pacquiao's spectacular winning streak continues as he hammers Joshua Clotty to the finish. If Clotty won a round, in my view, it was the 12th. Maybe it was a shutout. Either way, it was another spectacular performance by Manny Pacquiao and thoroughly entertaining, apparently. Harold Letterman didn't find the courtesy round to give to Clotty. 120 to 108. That is an honest scorecard and a fair reflection of the fight. Wayne Ford of Nevada is down here scoring tonight. 131 title fights. You know him well. Had Pacquiao ahead of Cotto, having won every round. Most people gave Cotto one or two rounds. Levi Martinez of New Mexico, 42 title fights was uh, in Houston last year to score Marquez Diaz, which was a candidate for fight of the year. Nelson Vasquez, Puerto Rico, very experienced. Uh, had Mosley ahead of Margarito, 78-73. At the moment when Shane knocked Margarito out. And now, let's go to Michael Buffer to find out the scores on this one. Ladies and gentlemen, from Cowboys Stadium, we go to the scorecards. Dwayne Ford scores at 120 to 108.
Levi Martinez, 119-109. Nelson Vasquez, 119-109. All three to the winner by unanimous decision. The fighting pride of the Philippines and still WBO welterweight champion of the world, Manny Pac-Man. Offensive output. If that was the plan, he did it perfectly. And More than 100 punches per round, a low connect percentage. That was to be expected against Claudie's tortoise shell defense. But look at that. He threw 832 more punches in 12 rounds than did Josh, Joshua Clotty. That's extraordinary. And Punch Zone demonstrates that this was the most prolific body punching performance of Pacquiao's career. Landing 108 body punches through the course of the fight, and that helped him to ultimately boost his accuracy upstairs as well. Clotty simply did not try hard enough to score offensively to give himself a chance to be in the fight.